Okay, lads and ladies, welcome back to the Road to Platinum God. On the way to getting a very special item, let's random it. We get cane, okay, we're gonna do a cane run. You saw me random it. Don't be hating. Lucky foot gives us an extra heart. The Spelunker. Uh, the Spelunker's hat. Okay, not a bad item to pick up. So, Mr. Kane over here uh, starts. He's got one patch over his eye, which slows down his fire rate. However, he has good damage, and he's actually quite quick. So, yeah, he's a good. He's my favourite character in the entire game. I can normally, nine times out of ten, beat the game with this guy. I'm going to use the bomb to go to the secret room that Spelunker Hat has shown us where it is, because that's what the Spelunker's Hat does. Okay, I use one coin. Spirit Heart, please. No safety cap, I'll pick it up because I have nothing anyway. Don't know what the safety cap does. I think it increases uh, the chance of hearts dropping. Super Envy, are you for real on the first freaking second room that we go in on the game? Okay, really annoying boss and we don't even have any uh, bombs to escape this room. Okay, this isn't actually the easiest boss in the entire world, especially when he starts pulling this crap. Because now, instead of spawning into two bigger heads, he spawns into three. Which means I am in a bad place. For a number of reasons, I can never beat this boss without taking a hit. Just thought I would uh, give you a fact. And we probably will die at this point. Yep, there you go. Look at that. So I'm going to start the game with Kane again. Because that was bullshit. Um, a super envy boss in the first floor. Crazy. That's really bad Isaac play. Probably could have beaten him if I had served myself a little bit more, but hey. We all lose sometimes, right? You really gonna... What the hell? We just die. Stop running away from things. Oh, for God's sake. After all that, he still hit me. So how are you guys enjoying Isaac? Are you still enjoying it? Uh, or is it become a little bit stale? I still love it. We're still on the way to getting Platinum God achievement, so... Could do with a couple of bombs. I saw the tinted rock in that room, don't worry. I, you know, peeked it straight away. We will get it. We will get it at some point, hopefully when we get a bomb. Oh, okay, we need a few bombs now. I hate that. I'm already taking two hits on this floor. I mean, not trying to be frustrating. But what the hell? R really? Oh, the lovers, thank God. That's what I needed. I'll leave that heart there. I think I should be okay. Lots of flies. Not completely happy with the fact that there's just flies everywhere. So again, plenty of coins on the first floor. These guys go down pretty quickly. Kane's got a good good damage on his tears first thing, so these enemies that should normally, you know, go down pretty quick. I mean take a little bit longer to go down. Go down quicker than usual when you're playing as Kane, okay. The t oh, I really didn't want to pick that up. However, early on in the game, that's actually quite good. Max's head is always good. Gives us a damage up and bigger tiers. So damage upgrade on the first floor. Very happy, but it's Curse of the Labyrinth as well. So I think there might be two uh, item rooms. Which also means there's two bosses. However, we picked up the tick. And I think it takes off 15% of their health. I think. Oh, come on. Christ. It's ridiculous how I'm, how I'm getting hit this floor. Maybe I'm just losing it. Maybe I'm losing my ability to play at Isaac. I don't know. Uh, seven coins. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to use it. And use all my seven coins on this guy because he can give me a, a compass is good. <laughs> okay, I was hoping for a health upgrade, but I shall accept it. How many shots to kill that? Two shots. Two of hearts. That's a good card to have. I could really do with some bombs, though. Bombs or keys would be absolutely... Oh, come on! Looks like we're using two of hearts. We've got a key. That's good. Let's go into the second item room and hope that it's something worthwhile. A game kid. Okay, not the best item in the entire world. However, it makes us into like a Pac-Man style monster. Which increases our damage for one room. So, any bombs would be great because there's a lot of tinted rocks. Or was that the last one? I honestly can't remember now that we've done two different runs in one game. Um, I normally, oh, okay. Nice. Spirit Heart. That'll probably be uh, lost before we get to the boss. Six coins for another one of Judgment. Okay. Please pay out for me. I'd love a health upgrade. 
A bomb! That is also very good. Yeah. Oh, okay, the martyr. That's uh, item out of the habit, which is every time we get hit, we get a recharge on the item that we have. So, small rock, maybe? No two spirit hearts. I'll still accept that. That's good. That's nice. <laughs> Let's go down to this room and see what's in here. Because we might as well, if it gives us a bomb. Okay, he didn't give us a bomb. However, the room, when we clear out all the enemies, may well give us a bomb. So. Okay. We will we'll always pick that up. Two of clubs, which I think just gives us two marquees. Two bombs, okay. I should have really waited, however... Okay, it only takes two tiers to beat those guys, which is nice. I think we can go and use a, one of these bombs a bit further up. I think we had a couple of uh, tinted rocks up here, so I'm just going to head on up and get them before we take on the first boss. At least I think we did. I say this. Yeah, there is one here. I can't remember if there was another one. Another spirit heart, which I will pick up. And you know what? I'm going to save. There's a few places for this. Uh, actually, the secret room will most likely be here. Of course it is. We get to open the chest and pick up hearts that we don't need. But we also get to pick up uh, coins. So We don't have 15 coins, so we're not going to go to the shop on this floor. But we have a key for the next one, which I will accept as being totally fine. So I've just played the Stanley Parable. You guys will probably see that on the channel now. If you haven't seen it, go and get it. If you're not going to play it, that's for one. If you're not going to play the Stanley Parable, please go and, uh, you know, watch that video. Because it is a complete mind F. Uh, the reason why I don't swear is purely because there could be smaller children watching these kind of videos. Uh, just because on other videos I do swear quite a lot. Okay, so we get uh, tears up, which is awesome. Pretty much a damage upgrade. And I'm going to use the Game Kid. Yeah, definitely use the Game Kid here. Uh, pretty much destroys Larry Jr. immediately. And we pick up a health upgrade as well. So, all in all, that floor, very good. Let's head on down. Just going to sit back in my chair. Because I enjoy this game a lot, but it, it makes my shoulders hurt. So, what would be really awesome is if we could beat that... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> wow, those flies don't make any noise. These guys are really annoying. I don't like them. However, our damage... That Max's head damage upgrade really has helped a lot. Okay, this this could be a problem, this room. Um, so I might have to just, you know, put all the poos out of their misery. That makes real... You know, horrible sense in an a Binding of Isaac world. But everywhere else, it's like, what are you talking about? Pick up that bomb. Let's go use a key to get the treasure. Okay, that's going to give us uh, blast damage and five bombs, Mr. Mega. Not actually that bad, just because we get five extra bombs and they were something that we were actually, you know, we didn't have many of. So, oh, right. walk straight into that. However, the martyr has made sure we get to recharge our game kid. Which took out Larry Jr. pretty quick in that last boss fight, so. Let's see what we can do. These enemies are so annoying. Okay, you're in the same path as me. And you'll probably... Okay, maybe you didn't. But this guy will die pretty quick. Wow, he's stuck in nothingness. I don't think I've ever seen that before in my life. Uh, we got a Tinted Rock, which we will use to... Ah, what's into that? Okay kind of didn't want to walk into it, but we did. See what's in this. Look at the big bombs that we've got now. Another spirit heart. Okay. Kind of wanting the small rock here, but... Whoa. That... Oh, he's stuck in the, the nothingness again. So are they. What the hell? We were pushing him off the map. You know what? I used the game kid in this room. Okay, the hollow. Yeah. Why the hell not? Just kill them all in one go. <laughs> We get ourselves Cat and Nine Tails, which is an incredibly nasty method of, um, you know, torturing somebody. Uh, the spade going down one floor, definitely not worth anything there, so I'm not going to pick it up. However, I'm going to go and explore the rest of this floor. Possible secret room here. We were unlucky there. I just think that if we can get two more coins, it will be worth going to the shop on this floor, so... Let's try the secret room here. Okay, well then it's definitely here then. So we know that for a fact. 
I hope. Because we are wasting a lot of bombs. Wow, okay. That was unexpected. So where the hell is the secret room? Oh, get out of my life. I could really do with a range up. I think the Cat of Nine Tails increases range, you know. It definitely increases shot speed. Because, you know, it's exactly what's happening. Let's go in the shop anyway. We've got three keys. Why not? Um, I'd have really, really liked to get the Mum's Coin Purse. Um, You know what? I might risk the Gauntlet Room. Because if it gives us a nickel, the Mum's Coin Purse with Kane... It can be game changing. So please, money. One heart. Crap. Okay, well, maybe we'll get a nickel when we beat the gauntlet room. Maybe. However, don't hold your breath. We'll probably get towers in one of the rounds. I presume we will get towers, actually. Because that's this game all over. And I can't, you know, work with towers very well, so. Yep, what did I say? Come on, tower. There we go. Don't even need to worry about you. You don't take that many hits in this red one. We'll go die on its own. One coin is not ideal. Um, I'm going to search for the super secret room on this floor. Here? Maybe. Nothing. One bomb left? Really not worth it. But we've opened the shop. <sighs> I honestly don't know. One coin away. Well, we can't do anything. I could probably spend five cents and get five cents on the next floor. I'll pick up Spirit Heart while I'm here. Kind of worth it. Kind of not worth it. And I've lost half of that Spirit Heart already because I'm completely an idiot. No idea where the, the secret room is. It, the game went against its own rules. Went against its own ru rules, I should say. I'm losing the will to speak right now. <laughs> okay, let's head over this way. And of course we get money. That makes complete sense. Right, well, let's see how we do. There is money everywhere here. We just don't have enough bombs to utilise it. And of course we get an arcade, which makes sense. God dang it. Please give me something good. Monstrous Tooth is not good. Really, we're not worth picking up that. <laughs> not this time. Let's see if there's a trinket room in here. There isn't, but there is a place to get health, so... Mm. I'm going to pop a bomb here. That's worth it. That's worth it, for definite. I was hoping that it would push the, the block out over that end. So I'm back to 14 cents. So I might, depending on where we're at, use a... You know what? I'm going to use my eater thing and just eat these guys. And we get a bomb back. So... Nope. As if I got hit there. So we're going to get two hits and then uh, I think the game kid just recharges. Yep, there we go. Two hits and the game kid recharges. However, I didn't really want to take those hits. Two more keys. We will go into the room. Luckily, it's not greed. There's nothing that's worth buying here. Except for a spirit heart, which I'll pick up. There is a half heart there. And nothing else. I wonder what's in the gauntlet room, actually. Not worth it. Not worth it whatsoever. Okay. So we could play the arcade. Let's play it with uh, 15 cents. Or oh, 14 cents, actually. Because um, we don't really need any more than that. And we could actually get some good stuff from the arcade. Hopefully. If it just gives me hearts loads, I could get a health upgrade from the machine. However, it's probably not going to be like that because the game loves to troll me. Um, kind of wanting pills, maybe. Pills are always good. I swear those red flies that flash are supposed to home in on you. Another bomb. Okay, well, it's nice that we're getting bombs. Lots of money. Okay. Okay. It's always nice to get bombs. And I get... Oh, no. Crap. Okay, so we can play this machine once. Sometimes it pays out on one. Not that time, though. I was really hoping for a health upgrade. Oh, and we get the Skatol. Brilliant. That's actually really, really good. That means flies will not be attracted to us, so... 
that's kind of the item you want to get from the the guy, you know, the... I don't even know what you call them. The guy who... the cups guy. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, oh, play with your own rules. These guys die really quickly now. Just thought I'd say. There's a nickel, of course there is. You know what, I'm going to get that. Why the hell not? A bomb for five cents and we get over the 15 mark is kind of worth it in my eyes. I want to see if I can get through this entire room without having to use my Pac-Man ability. I reckon I can. Oh, wow, these guys... I don't know what's, why they're glitching out so easily. Oh, come on. I'm chasing this guy and he's not even doing anything. There we go. There is a bomb in there, so I will use this to then pick the bomb up. And we get Spirit Heart. That is really, really good. Let's go down and see who we've got as a boss. Hopefully these guys stay within their own rules. Of course they don't. Of course they don't. <laughs> and a pill. You know what? I've got enough bombs. I will like that pill because it could get... Oh, it's a waste. Okay, who have we got? We got the, the husk. Kind of a dick enemy. However, we actually... We're kicking every every boss's ass here, by the way. Just just putting out there. And we got an angelic room, which is quality. Damage up again. Blood of the Martyr. That's really good. We're getting quite a lot of damage here. These are really good items. Game Kid is much better than I give it credit for. Let's head down. Get another heart. You know, as you do. We'll head over this way. Always go to the treasure room first. That compass that we picked up early on is helping us for definite now. And the damage that we are getting is... Obscene. Oh, I really didn't want to get hit there. Really, really didn't want to get hit. However, I can live with this. Plenty of health at the moment, so I'm not going to complain too much. Okay, well, this is an awkward room. I was always going to get hit there. Oh, and we get the, uh, the heart, which is a HP up, which is awesome. I physically can't get to the boss without taking any damage. Okay, maybe I could. I don't really want to do this though. It's really frustrating that you have to take a hit there. Not exactly ideal. Oh, I keep walking into getting hit. Really annoying, got to admit. I think that rhymed. Oh no! Let's kill this guy, kill this guy. Okay, let's go in. Don't be greed. The candle! Oh my god! Getting it! Sorry, Game Kid, you're awesome, but you're not as awesome as the candle ever is. Made no sense. Don't care. The candle rules all. You can hit me all you want. And t now, the matter doesn't even matter. Trust me. Ow. The item matter, not a problem in my eyes. We are going to kick ass right now. And we get a pill. Friends till the end. That's really good. Let's go on to the boss. Oh, of course, it's the mask of infamy. This is going to be awful. I hate this boss. Like, with a complete vengeance, this boss is a pain in the ass. So the candle's going to be absolutely essential on this boss. I don't exactly know how I'm supposed to kill him. But the candle will work. It will work. It just needs to reload. Well, oh, it's flipping reloads every freaking day, doesn't it? I'm just kind of maneuvering and waiting for him. Oh, God, he's such a pain in the ass, this boss. He's so hard to beat. Like, he's really hard to beat, guys. This is a not, easy, not an easy boss. But we killed him, and we get a health up, and another room. Wow, this is crazy. Is that the Bible? Uh, definitely not worth it. <laughs> However, we could kill Mummy in one go. I don't really want to go back through that room. We've got everything we need to get from that, that point. We're on the floor of Mum now, so... Wow, that was lengthy. Oh, these leapers are such bullshit. Uh, don't really need that chest. Don't need to go there. We've got one key. Okay. Ring of flies. Halo of flies. 
Yeah, okay. That will do nicely. I'm kind of really skipping this game now. Okay, this is dangerous. Like, incredibly dangerous how I'm playing. Just totally speedrunning now. I don't know if that will come back to bite me in the ass. It probably will. But hey, I'm enjoying where I'm at right now. So, yeah, let's take on Mum. And look how much damage we're doing. For real. Ow! Hate it when it does this. <laughs> Tears up and HP up. That is awesome. Let's head on down. Can you believe it? This could be the quickest run we've ever had. And with the compass, it is a complete possibility that we kick this game's ass very quickly. Look at the damage we're on right now. And we get unlimited keys for no reason. I mean, it's nice to have them. You know, I'm not going to deny that. But it's almost pointless because, well, we've got everything that we need. The stars shows us everything, I think. All right, where the hell, where, where did that take us? No idea what happened with that. However, that candle is so good and the damage that we have right now is just beyond fantastic. Okay, it's taking these in a really random place. And I think we're going to beat this guy yet again. St absolutely storming these rooms. Of course I got hit there, because that's how life works. So yeah, really, really ploughing through this now. I don't even think this is the way to the boss. Possibly. It must be the way to the boss. There's no other way it can be, surely. See how we do anyway, because... These guys are kind of frustrating. The diglets, as I call them. Kind of a dick enemy. We get more keys, not that we need them. And the fistula is kind of an easy boss. Especially when you're hitting him with this much attack power. Yeah, really kicking ass right now, guys. I'm going to, you know, be honest. A Polyphemus would be stunning. However, my health is kind of low. Which probably isn't good. Could really do with a full health pill. Or even a bad trip pill would work. Whoa. Okay, two rooms away from the boss now. And we should be okay here, I think. Yeah, the boss is there. We got another bomb. Interesting. Not a lot of health, however, we will take whoever it is. Okay, it's the headless horseman. A champion headless horseman. The tick gives us quite a lot of damage off. However, he's done pretty much nothing as yet. Okay, so it comes from that direction, which is frustrating because I can't exactly see where he's coming from. Okay, that was really close actually. I'm trying to aim my shots. Maybe the best place to be is not underneath him. Or maybe it is underneath him. How's the candle not kicking his ass? <laughs> there we go. A piece of meat or a cube of meat pointless at the moment. Let's head down to the next floor, guys. This is absolutely insane. 25 minutes, and we are really kicking ass. Ah, it's a problem, this room, when there's so many of these things. Wow, that was awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely use a bomb to get Spirit Heart. I'm not a complete lunatic, so... That's actually perfect placement for the candle. And we kill him. <laughs> the candle is just so ridiculous. And we're just kicking it. Completely kicking ass. Just, you know. There's just nothing that can stop us right now. Okay, these guys could do a bit of damage though. For definite. See? We almost got hit, but the Cuban meat stopped us. Let's go and take on Mum's heart. Okay. 
This guy is, this is just insane play right now, I've got to say. How the hell do we kill these things? Oh my word. <laughs> We're kind of winning in every sense of the word. He's going to start shooting his crap now. See? But as long as we beat Mum's heart, we blow up the enemies. And we win. Should we go up to the cathedral, do you reckon? Yeah. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Go to the cathedral. I'm not going down to Sheol. There's no point going down to Sheol. I can't earn anything, so... The compass still shows us where everything is. Uh, judgment. You know what? Oh, I really didn't want to do that. Please give me something good. I always struggle doing the sideways ones now. Because there's nothing we can spend our money on. So we might as well get stuff that's worth it. Please, a health up. You give me one extra hit if I if you give me this. And I'd really appreciate that. Two bombs, not exactly helpful. Just scrunch your face up and give me health now. Health now. It's almost there. Okay, I didn't really want to do that, but it had to be done, unfortunately, and I can get my heart back there. Possibly the boss isn't this way. Whoa! <laughs> Don't like that at all, that room. <laughs> I cannot trust it. Nope, not a fan of this. Wow. Um, okay. Okay. Kind of a dick room. I think we killed the head though, which is nice. I'd love it if we got a cube of meat here. How are you still alive? You've got no health. You don't give me a cube of meat. Kind of going against your own rules, but that's okay. I shall accept it. Okay, and then there's a fly, which shouldn't even be attracted to us right now. Uh, I'll pick that up because it's still, you know, a hit. At least. Wow, this is, this is a bad idea. How are we not getting hit? How are we not getting hit? This is just some obscene play. The tower, I'll use it on the boss. I will use the key to get in here and see what we get. Two bombs, they can be useful. Let's take on Isaac. Okay, not too sure how this will work, if I'm being honest. However, the candle does crazy damage to Isaac and we currently are doing quite well this is insane guys okay this is bad this is bad we need to kill him as quickly as possible whoa you are spawning way too many enemies is he dead he's dead He's dead. Why are you guys not dying? Boom! Owned it. Yes, another win on Isaac. You know it. He's all sad. Don't get that ending. We won it again. That's two pieces of this special item. What could it be? I honestly don't know. However, we've added a couple of new things to the collection. As you can see, our collection is very, very close now to being complete and getting everything as we go along. Pretty much all the endings. 16 mum kills. And we're getting close. And we've just unlocked something icky. Lazlo Dex, thank you very much for watching. We're doing some serious pro runs on Isaac right now, except for that first one at the beginning of the video. Thank you. Bye.